So as you can see, I look like utter crap. So I thought I could share with you the utter pain and misery I'm going through because you always see me all happy and perky, but not lately, no. Lately, I'm, I'm low-key dying. And yeah, that's probably why I'm doing this vlog, so that you can see me in not my best moments. <laughs> so on the 19th, I woke up, I prepared my drugs, and before I took the first sip, the pain started. I was like, maybe it's like trap gas or something, it'll go away, it'll go away, but it didn't. It just got worse and worse and worse. Like, I've experienced a lot of pain in my life, but this is one of those times that it was too unbearable. I started crying, like really, really crying because I did. I couldn't tolerate the pain. Uh, I tried to warm up myself. I basically hugged the heater and I put like a heating pack on my stomach, but nothing would work. I was home alone. I called my parents to take me to the emergency room <laughs> because I am so damn lucky. There, there was this conference where like all Arab countries and their presidents would like meet up here and every damn road was closed. Like, nothing was open. And my parents got stuck in traffic and they just couldn't get to me. So I was like, screw it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go alone. I don't have my car, my parents took it. But I was gonna take a cab or something, I don't know. I couldn't walk, I couldn't even stand straight up. The pain was that intense, it was that severe. I live on the second floor, we don't have an elevator. So I had to walk all of these flights of stairs and it was a living hell. But before that, I puked my guts out. <laughs> Although I had nothing, like... I, d I don't know where all that came from, I, I absolutely had nothing in the morning. And when I made it out of the building, I remembered that my uncle has a shop <laughs> next to us. So I went to my uncle and like kind of collapsed and told him, please take me to the emergency room. So he kind of carried me and we took a cab and we went to the emergency room and they gave me three IVs of painkillers. Yeah, yeah, I was jacked up on sedatives. When, when I was done, I was like... <laughs> Yeah, I, I couldn't handle it and I did a CT scan in which they finally determined that I have a kidney stone and it won't go away by itself. Uh, it probably needs a surgery, but that was the emergency doctor. I have to consult another doctor uh, specialized in kidney problems and stuff like that. So yeah, it, it was one of those days where I felt completely helpless and I, I, I didn't enjoy one single bit of it. But thankfully the pain passed. I'm still high on painkillers, like I dreamt yesterday that um, I saw in my living room a huge turtle and I'm like, oh, it's probably a hundred years old and then I remember like finding Nemo but that was a sea turtle but then the turtle in front of me just split in half and like <laughs> another head protruded out of the like second part of the turtle I'm like, whoa, do, do reptiles do budding? And then I tried to remember my science course, but like blank, nothing. And then for some reason I got transported into like something else. I stood in front of a door and every time I opened the door, it showed me like an event. And whenever I saw an event that really upset me, I turned everyone into a rubber ducky. I wish I was making this up, but I turned a lot of people and a lot of things into rubber duckies and it was awesome. So. I usually have weird dreams, but just imagine that hooked on steroids. Beautiful. Awesome. Day three. So this is day three, actually, after I almost died. <laughs> I'm feeling better. Uh, I'm high as a kite on painkillers and amazing. It's amazing. Today I went for another consultation from another doctor um, because um, <clears throat> I did a mistake and I researched the procedure for the surgery. Uh, it's called dusting and what they do is like they insert a laser and they turn the stone into dust. Although I'm a scientific person, what I had imagined in mind was, you know the laser pointers that you tease your cat with? Yeah, I imagined that sort of laser just being pointed towards my waist and it'll blast it into little tiny particles. But no, no, that that's not how the procedure works. And I saw a YouTube video about it and I'm like, no, hell no, nope, nope, 
no, not, not, not gonna happen. That, that, that's not gonna happen. That demon better get out of me all naturally. Here's what happened. I went into the doctor and he's, he's trying to reassure me that it'll go away on its own. It'll pass. Don't worry. Give it a couple days. It, it'll be fine. And he was telling me that while putting the CT scan CD in his PC. And he was like talking and talking and then he looked at it and was like, what the f- And then he tried to zoom in and zoom out and like, damn girl! That that's one big stone like I didn't expect a girl like you to have a stone like this So he actually called another doctor and he's like look at this stone in this girl And he's like that's exactly like the stone you have in your glass case and deep inside. I'm like Why are they so excited about this? No, he then told me it's kind of a big stone So it's highly unlikely for it to pass on its own. However, we're trying to avoid surgery here. Okay? I'm like, okay, so you have another option. You can try for a week to use some medication to dilate a bit the urethra so it could pass easily. So I said, of course, I'll try the medication first. So yeah, that's what I'll be doing for the next few days. I'm gonna take a couple of meds. I'm gonna try every freaking herbal remedy there is in the world. If you have any suggestions, please let me know. I will try it. I'm just hoping for the best. I really, 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 really don't want to go through that because um, it, it doesn't look good. It doesn't look okay. The laser treatment isn't some laser they just point at me and it'll just like obliterate. No, they're gonna insert the laser into me. <laughs> I can't even think about that. No, I'll be under general anesthesia. I, I, I won't be feeling much, but just the thought of it. No, no, we're gonna try to avoid this and I'm gonna pray to God every single freaking second of the day for it to just leave my body. I'm even open to exorcism because this is Satan's demon and it needs to leave my freaking body ASAP. And if it doesn't pass on its own, I, I kinda accepted the fact that I'll be forever living with a growing rock inside of me. I made peace with that fact, so yeah, no surgery. Nope. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. I just remembered that I kinda forgot to end the video in the morning. I just wanted to update you guys about what's happening. I did this vlog just to tell you guys that I'm not trying to slack off the videos, I'm just really really sick and I hope you understand and I'll be uploading whatever I already have as content. I'll try to edit them out as much as I can, as quickly as I can. And wish me well guys, I, I really need it. So yep, love you, bye!